think to expand on it, I think the show is, um, it, it touches on what Mark was saying, it's a political allegory, it touches on religion, it's very existential, and that was what you said when we found out where silence, how did, how do the characters reconcile that, what's, like Michael just said, how do you, you you've got, we have a whole set, a whole backstory, a history of who we are, and then somebody says you're something else. You just, you, it's impossible to accept that. I mean, that's what I love about the struggle of the final four in these first two episodes, that just because we've had this revelation doesn't mean we automatically just throw on the old centurion suit and let's go and be silent. You just, you wouldn't do that. I mean, we, have, we have what we thought was a, a complete human life and a, a history and, and memories and a, allegiances and loyalties. And so I love the existential uh, aspects of the show and the religious and political. And I, I, like I said, the show hits it bang on the nose, and if that offends certain people, so be it. But at least we're making television that provokes.
Ron has said publicly that he's keeping Baltar's presidential portrait when the show wraps, like he's taking it home and putting it up. What are you guys going to try and steal from the set? <laughs> I bet you still the big green of the cornerless paper, right? Like everybody else does from the office. Just give me a ream of that stuff, man. Paper clips. I really want the Dallas Tells us that Earth is some type of 
uh, it's obviously beyond the 20th century, Earth. so whatever type of Earth you're going to arrive at, it's got to be some type of future Earth. Uh, do you guys you have any like information, anything you can tell us about Earth at all? <laughs> A little bit? No! <laughs> it's beautiful! That's it, nothing, uh, uh, any Adamas? Uh, well, we can't, can basically, if we say anything, so. Uh, oh, thanks. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> I bet you're glad you waited for that, huh? <laughs>